This is the game settings folder inside your PCSX2 program directory. Head back here after running the game, and you'll see a file that starts with the game code, like this one, SLUS21212. It's auto-generated by PCSX2. Now copy the name of that file, then go ahead and delete it. Rename the file I provided using that name. Head back to PCSX2, right-click the game title, and click on Properties. As you can see, PCSX2 has successfully loaded the settings from my INI file. If you prefer to set things up manually, just follow the values shown here. If your GPU is decent, it's highly recommended to use Vulkan as the renderer. DirectX 12 is also a good option. For lower-end GPUs, stick with DirectX 11. Post-processing settings are purely optional, these are just my personal tweaks to improve visuals. But if you're using an integrated or low-end GPU, it's best to leave them off to avoid lag. On the OSD tab, you can choose to display things like FPS, CPU usage, GPU usage, and speed percentage. It's optional, I usually keep it off for a cleaner gameplay experience. Alright, close the settings window, and let's see how the game runs. Up in the top left corner, you'll see our manual GS hardware fixes getting loaded. If you see the dynamic loading bar at the bottom left corner, it means your game has started successfully. I'll fast forward to the gameplay screen. The visuals already look great, even in the intro. Warriors of Sparta! Today, our city faces her... Let's see how the game actually looks during gameplay. This setup looks solid to me. No noticeable issues at all. Everything runs Look. smooth and looks clean. Take out the Centurions. Then our sappers can destroy the towers. You can download my game settings INI file from the description if you don't want to tweak everything yourself. Found it helpful? Please like, share it around, and hit that subscribe button.